ADHD TCG here, and I'm so excited to finally get this in the mail. This is like one of the big ones. This and Sorcery, I would say, were the big guys. The big Kickstarter is Cryptic was the first one that I was pretty psyched on. Next up was Sorcery, and now we finally got Rise. I know Rise isn't as popular with, uh, it doesn't have as much weight behind it as some of those other ones, but I truly, absolutely love this game, and I think that they pushed the bar as to what trading cards should and could look like in 2023. Every card I've opened or looked at from Rise has its own flavor. The art is amazing. Uh, the cards themselves though, with the gilding and the, oh, what else do they have to do? They have like a textured back. There's the selective hollowing. It's just done to such a, uh, a premium degree that I love it. I mean, as a, as a trading card collector, I mean, I've got a YouTube channel, obviously I'm into it. This is like what I what I love. This is the collecting stuff. So let's let's take a look. Uh, not pictured on the screen is the the giant uncut sheet. And what I'll do is maybe I'll try to post a picture on the video. I'm obviously I try to keep these videos as easy to make as possible with very little cuts. But I think I can try to post a picture of the uncut sheet. Maybe even over top of me speaking here. Okay, let's open this this bad boy up. As far as shipping. I literally got shipping notification this morning and it arrived. I live in Canada in the boonies. Like, I couldn't believe it. Oh, there's tape on the sides. I absolutely couldn't believe that this thing delivered already. Um, and I mean, these trading card games take a long time to deliver all in general. But I absolutely was like, I was watching my tracking and I was looking at it. I was like, oh, it's in Canada already. That's wild. Why won't this open? And then when I saw that it was, that it was actually in my city, which is not an easy place to get to. Why won't it open? Oh, I'm opening it the wrong way. Wow. Uh, I was just, I was blown away. I couldn't believe it. So I'm just gonna try to do this in a way. I'm gonna open it this way. So here we go. Rise, we've got some, some nice, Frilly packaging on the top. Can I bend this under? I can bend this under. And it even props it up a little bit. Now, let's get into this. I am so dang excited for this game. The packaging, here's what she looks like. This is very good packaging. Shipping was fast. Packaging looks absolutely amazing. Now, we've got this right here. I'm gonna go through all of this, but let's pull her out first. I am guessing this is some trading cards. Maybe this is the, the promo cards that were unlocked. We've got our stretch goal pack, which is thick. Like this guy is so thick. Do I have a pack here to compare? Oh, one second, let me see. <laughs> here's a, here's the, the poker stretch goals for, for Cryptic. Here's Rise, Rise. Like, even if I flatten these out, you'll see. Whoa, it's like three or four times the size. Insane, and that's not Beacon Cryptic either, because I'm a fan of Cryptic. So, we get the, the pack. I'm gonna pull this all out, then we'll go from there. So what I did is, I actually wanted to focus on the Collector's Edition. So I got four of these boxes, and I see that there's four boxes in here, so... That is correct. Really happy that they, they got that. And finally... I have the standard edition booster box and it looks fantastic. Wow. This is incredible. Okay, now that that's over, let's organize this, this puppy. We've got our collector's booster boxes, our standard edition, and now the Kickstarter stretch goal. And this guy right here, let's take a look at what this is. Cause I don't know what this is, but it's, it's packaged very well. Before I actually, before I even get into that, let's take a look at these boxes. Very beautiful. This is even textured like the cards. Wow. You know, when they post pictures, it never justifies seeing this stuff in person. RiseCardGame.com, sealed with shrink wrap. If it's not intact, the product integrity might be compromised. Like, 
I don't know why this game is not bigger than it, than it is as far as uh, having a following. They just rock it out of the park. Look at this massive alpha set standard edition booster box too. I will be opening this on the channel probably sooner rather than later. This is so bloody beautiful. Like this is something else. It's incredible, amazing. Hey, and then continuing on, sorry, I had to cut the video. I had something come up here. So we've got these booster boxes. We've got, let's open this guy I'm thinking first. I'm wondering if this is the gold stretch goal cards. Let's take a look. I am psyched to see what is inside. Oh, it's cards. Really good packaging for it and I just dropped them so so heavily okay so there's two of these guys and i think that these are let me just check here so i can make sure that i'm giving you all the right information but i'm pretty sure these are the stretch goal ones which i will be taking out of the package and i will be adding to my rise binder oh you know what they are okay so what we've got is this is the golden clover this was unlocked this is the golden pixel golden clover and this was unlocked for day 20. now surprised so this must be so this is a promo card okay this is a promo card this is a stretch goal card and then no no these are both promo cards this is a stretch goal card that's how it is there's something else underneath here i see though too maybe i should just open this now oh both of them have something underneath well that is pretty cool okay let's check this out these guys are all going in a binder i uh, just love these rise cards there we go. Okay, so let's take a peek at these guys. Gosh, I love these cards. Oh man, it's so shiny too. So good. Okay, a golden clover. Ultimate success. Beauty. I'm gonna just set these guys up here. Ultimate success. Ooh, this looks nice. Even nicer than any of the other versions of this card I've seen. Okay. Dark Clover, I've never seen a Dark Clover. I don't even know if I've seen of Ultimate Success. I'm pretty sure that I saw, well, I mean, it's got the uh, the clones on it, but it's nicer than any other clone card that I've ever seen. Now the Dark Clover, I've never seen something like this, and it is beautiful. The color scheme that Francois has chosen is absolutely stunning. Okay, next up, the other pack. So, I'm trying to see, I think some of these, I'm not sure if it's in the stretch goal set or if it's just a promo card because these have got to be the promo cards because the stretch goal set is in that other package, which is beautiful. Let's open this up and check these guys out. Okay, Lucky Clover. Beautiful. I see a theme here with the clovers. Ooh, healthy level up. I think I have a level up that I pulled from one of the the Patreon packs, or not Patreon packs, it was the after the Patreon when they went into, where you could buy them off the dark screen website, but this is stunning. And it's got the gilded edges, so beautiful. Wow, they just knock it out of the park with everything they do. It's insane. Amazing, okay. Next up, let's check out this amazing Kickstarter stretch goal set. 24 cards in here, wow. Rise trading card game, Kickstarter stretch goal set booster pack. Rise is a trading card game created by Francois Von Aureli. I don't know if I'm saying that right. From Dark Screen Games. Oh, very cool. The plastic cover, Kickstarter. We have the Dark Screen Games logo on there too. Includes 24 different non-random cards. This looks very professional. What's cool here is I'm gonna have a stack of cards that all have gilding and I can show off what it looks like. Check this out. You can see that rainbow pattern on the side. This is so amazing. Gosh, I love this. Okay, let's go like this. First, I've got fruit. Sacrifice this incantation, your summoners gain one HP. I love this fruit. I don't even know if I can stack this everywhere. I, we're gonna run out of room if I do. Next up, Worm. Check this guy out. Again, the backs are all gonna look probably very much the same. They've got that beautiful texturing to them. 
So we'll focus on the fronts for now. We've got a worm. You gotta see these in person. They are amazing. We got an explosive duck. There's a bit of a cheekiness to some of this, to some of the these these cuter kind of cards, and I love it. Next up, Magma Dragon. Getting the binder going for sure today. Okay. And then we have a Sacrament. Wow. Get a full deck of cards essentially just for doing this. And they're just so nice. I don't know. It's hard to emphasize it so everybody can, uh, can, can understand, but it's just something else. The Reserve. This is beautiful with the color scheme. This is gnarly. This is, this is something else. And again, in person, it's even better. Okay, this is another one that was a, uh, a stretch goal that was unlocked on day 20, I believe. Got Santa Claus on there, friends forever. Ooh, I've never seen one this way before. Darkest Dungeon. Next up, oh, I love the Iris. This is one of my favorites so far. This is so good. This is one of my favorite ones I've seen today too. It looks fan, it's just something else to look at it and see it. Oh, I love this ethereal, ethereal, I don't know how to say it, crown. Ethereal, 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 right? Ethereal crown, this is so sick. This is so gnarly. Ooh, this is a good one. Moloch, I pulled one of these in one of my vault pack openings and this card stands out. I love the Moloch. One of my favorites. I'm actually gonna pull that Iris out because I'm gonna end up sleeving that one and the, the Moloch pretty quickly here. I'm gonna stack them right on top of these guys. Big fan. I'll even put this Ethereal Crown. That's another one that I'm gonna be taking extra special care of. Okay, Ethereal, level up. Whoa. Beautiful. Something else. Another additional card that was unlocked is the Carletta. I've seen this one before. It's quite a beautiful card. Carletta, she's got a glass of something, who knows what. Very cool. And these again were all unlocked on the during the process of uh, of the Kickstarter. During it, got an Otis Summoner. Beautiful. We've got a Flint Hook. Oh, I saw this guy. <laughs> is he's got to be from something else, right? Or is he actually from Rise? I pulled one of these and I wasn't super psyched on it. I think it was in my last uh, vault pack, maybe. Oh, this is something else. It's got that, it's like a it's some sort of a texturing on it. Soren Galbraith. Insane. Then the prisoner. And Isaac. This is from, isn't it a game? I'm pretty sure Isaac's from a game of some sort. Oh, what is it called? Is it uh, something of Isaac? Anyways, I'm pretty sure he's from another game. Very cool that they were able to do a bit of a crossover with this one. It's a cool looking card. We've got a tier. Ooh, this, you know what, what part of it is with these cards? It's the color schemes that they use with the holographic in the background. Like there's just this, uh, such an attention to detail on every one of these. Then a Pyro Barbarian. Next up, this looks like something out of, out of sorcery. This is a flame orb. Beautiful. Next up is a Canard Man. That's hilarious. I've not seen this duck man before. Followed by David Goodenough. And finally, another, these look like little chibis. Morrow Flower. 
Obviously my favorites are these guys on the side. I've never seen an iris like that before. I've seen the Carletta, but this one is definitely one of the one of the best looking ones. So this is it for now. Um, I'm gonna, you're gonna see me crack open a couple of these over the next, oh, I don't know how long, couple of weeks maybe, and uh, I'll be posting the videos, but I'm absolutely excited to get this here. Um, as far as shipping goes, Rise nailed it out of the park. I mean, to get my shipping notification this morning where I live and have it delivered, in, incredible. It's, there's nothing, I've never had an experience like that before. Uh, card quality is obviously the highest card quality that I've seen in any other game. All around, I am very happy with this Kickstarter and I am excited to get more into it. I really hope Rise grows. It's one of those games that I just really hope continues to take off. It's it's, it's that one game that I look at and I'm like, I really, if I could have any game take off, it would be Rise, I think. At least at this point in time. So thanks for watching my videos. This is ADHD TCG. I'm on Instagram. Take a peek on there and uh, message. You can comment. I post pictures all the time of some of the cards I pull during my YouTube videos. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all the stuff like that. If you're into it, if not, I'm okay with that too. I just really appreciate you coming and watching my videos here. And uh, if you're into it, let me know. Comment. What do you think of the cards? There's something else in my opinion. So all right. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Bye-bye.